Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to the hot topic. Each segment we're going to be talking about issues that affect you and your family and your friends. We're going to be talking about topics that deal with your everyday life. We're going to be talking about careers, we'll talk about internet safety, we'll talk about cyberbullying. All of the very important issues are here on Hot Topic. Now today's hot topic is going to be about internet safety. Now of course all of us are on social media in one form or another, whether you're on Facebook, whether you're on TikTok, whether you're on Instagram, everybody is online. So it's very important that we follow some basic rules to stay safe because unfortunately not everybody who's online is who they say they are. So we need some guidelines to make sure that we have a good practice when we go online. Tip number one. Tip number one is to make sure that you never give your password to anyone. Now it might seem obvious that of course I'm not going to give my password to anybody but sometimes situations arise that you think that you have to give your password to your friend, to your cousin or to a teacher or someone of that nature. Never ever do that because you never know who they may give it to. It's important that you keep all of your details private. Also, never give your real name. A lot of people go onto chat sites or they get inboxed from people and they don't quite know who they're speaking to. Now you may be using a different name from your real name. If you do that, make sure you don't give them your real name. Make sure that you do not give your address, where you live, who you live with, any names of the members of your family is very important. As I said before, there are a lot of people online that aren't to be trusted. So it's very important that we keep our private information private. Tip number two. Tip number two is very simple. Never speak to strangers online. Now I know sometimes you're browsing the internet or you might be on a platform and somebody inboxes you. Okay, and you think, oh, let me see who that is. It might be a friend, it might be a mum or a dad. And you go on there and it's not somebody that you recognize. Even if you think it looks like a legitimate name, it looks like a proper picture, they may be asking you questions that you may feel uncomfortable answering. This is at that point where you should not, definitely not give any information about who you are, where you live, your address and things of this nature. Because unfortunately, and I have to keep saying this, unfortunately, some people will be tend to be kids of your age because they're trying to find out information about you, your family, your relatives, your friends and they may pretend to be somebody and saying oh, oh I saw you like that picture and it was really nice and I like it too are you interested in that and that's how they begin a conversation and then the questions may change a little bit later on so it's very important no matter what platform you're on do not speak to strangers. Tip number three Tip number three is a very, very important tip. Never, ever, never meet someone in the real world that you've met online. So if you're online and somebody's inboxed you and you're having a great conversation about something, you've got all the, everything in common, you like the same cartoons, you like the same games, whatever it is, they may be saying that just to be your friend to pretend. Then, if they say to you, wow, this is really cool, why don't you come around to my house to play on PlayStation or something? At that point, you need to think to yourself, remember, remember the internet safety tips, okay? Not to meet anybody that you've met online in real life. And if you feel a bit uncomfortable, remember you should need to go to your mom or your dad, or your guardian or your teacher to discuss it with them and let them have a look at it. Never just go off by yourself and meet somebody in a park or at their home or outside the school or anything of that nature. Because unfortunately, again, people do tell fibs, okay? They're not always who they say they are. 
tip number four. Tip number four is very, mm, it can be a difficult one, I admit, because sometimes you might want to buy something, you might want to get some credits, maybe you want to upgrade armor on a game or something, and at that point, sometimes they give you a form to fill out, okay? It's very important that you make sure an adult looks at that form very, very carefully, because those forms will capture your information. Sometimes people use it for marketing, sometimes people use that information for different things. And the fact is, once we send our information off, we don't know where it's going to go. We don't know how they're going to use it. So if you do come across a form online that is asking for your name, your address, your age, and things of this nature, before you fill it out, make sure you speak to your mom or your dad, a guardian or a teacher. Tip number five. This is important as well. There are so many different chat rooms online that people can go and if they have something in common like cartoons, comics, games, whatever, they can just sit there and talk to each other, share pictures and experiences, okay? So what you need to do, why this tip is important, you must make sure that you never go to a chat room without the permission of your parents or a guardian or a teacher or a responsible adult in your family, whoever's looking after you, okay? Do not go into chat rooms that are not for children and if you do then remember the other points we said before not giving details of that nature now if you go into a chat room with adults then that is going to be a problem because once again we don't know who we're talking to they may have a nice profile picture they may have a nice name they may even say that they're Muslim and this and that and all the rest of it but at the end of the day we still don't know who is behind that profile so if you feel that like you do want to speak to somebody in a chat room get a responsible adult to check it out first Tip number six. Now, of course, online, we get bombarded with adverts, pop-ups, all sorts of things. Now, if you are online and you see something that makes you feel uncomfortable, you must, you must, and this is very important, you must quickly turn off your computer and tell a responsible adult because they may need then to put the safety lock on your computer if something comes up which is making you feel uncomfortable maybe it's a little bit weird you don't understand it whatever it is if it makes you feel uncomfortable if you think it's a bit dodgy turn off the computer straight away and also tell an adult the reason why you must turn the computer off straight away is because there is a lot of things called malware now malware can can be like robots in the computer, I know it sounds crazy, Com robots in the computer that can invade and put a virus on your computer or your phone. And sometimes what they do, they make the front of the interface look so appealing that you want to click on things, but that way they can click on it and they can get into your computer, they can get all of your details, your password, your address, even your bank details if you have your parents' bank details or your own bank details on your phone or your device. So make sure that you never, never do that, inshallah. Number seven. This is going to be a tough one. Some, for some of you would-be influencers out there who want to take pictures of themselves. You must be very careful what pictures you send of yourself online. Okay, no matter how innocent it may be, no matter how much fun it may be, no matter who else is doing it, you need to be very careful what pictures you put of yourself online because once they go online, anyone can download them, anyone can collect them and they can use them for other things, okay? You must make sure that if you're going to put pictures of yourself, you check with a responsible adult, a mom or a dad, a guardian or a teacher, anyone in that bracket, you need to make sure that if you're going to put pictures up of yourself drinking a cup of tea kicking a football stuff that is so innocent that we love to do taking selfies with your food or whatever all of that stuff you need to make sure that you have permission and clearance from a responsible adult as I said before you don't know who's gonna use those pictures where they're gonna go okay so be careful tip number eight tip number eight is make sure you never download anything on your phone or on your device. It might be a, like a pad like this or a laptop. Now that's going to be difficult as well. So this is why we're doing this because there's so many different things to think about. Sometimes you have to download things in order to get things to work like photo editors, filters, things of that nature. Okay, but be careful. What we're saying is that we're not saying don't have any fun online. We're saying you need to be more thoughtful. Okay, we might be just thinking innocent things. Oh, it's just a cool filter. It looks really nice. But other people may be using it to capture your information. 
They might be using it to stay, take, uh, take your photos and other details, okay? So be careful. Don't think that everybody out there is just really cool and just want to have fun as well. Unfortunately, uh, if there was, we wouldn't be doing this hot topic. Tip number nine. Now, again, as you're surfing, you will come across things that you're not quite sure about, okay? Maybe you don't feel uncomfortable about it, but you just think, hmm, that's interesting. It's important that you get clarification on what you're reading, what you're watching, and what you're taking in. So always ask a responsible adult, what are they talking about? Uh, they may say to you, this isn't for kids, maybe it's not rude or anything, but maybe it's not for you, maybe you should look at something at your own age group. It could be something as innocent as that, but the the point is that you need to understand what you're looking at on the internet, whatever it is, whatever platform you are on. And tip number 10, again, talking about speaking to people online. You may be speaking to somebody online that you think is your own age, or you may be speaking to somebody online that you think is a friend, and it might not be your friend. How is that possible? Because some people, what they do, they take the information from other people, log on to their account and pretend to be them. That could happen to your friend, it could happen to your cousin, it could happen to your mom or your dad. So you need to be careful that you know who you're speaking to. Now, if you are speaking to somebody that you think is your friend and they start saying things which are a little bit weird, okay, you need to quickly, once again, contact that person to make sure it is them, okay? Or you might see weird things on their wall Contact that person and says, look, did you post this picture on there? Did you say this post on there? Because it doesn't sound like you. They may say, yeah, it was me, I was having, having an off day. Or they may say, no, like what's happened to me many times, I'm on Facebook or Instagram and I see weird posts on my friend's wall. And I think to myself, they would never put that on there. And I speak to them, I says, did you, I text them, I says, did you put that on there? And they says, no, my account has been hacked. Somebody's hacked my details and they're using all of my information and all of my contacts to send off weird text messages and weird photos, okay? If that happens to you, once again, turn off the computer, turn off your laptop or your device straight away and go to a responsible adult straight away and let them know what you've seen. Ooh, so I know those are a lot of rules and lots of tips to try and remember, but it's very important that we learn to stay safe online. You know, there are so many hidden dangers out there. There are so many different bots, so many different websites, so many different companies trying to get your information, trying to find out who you are, where you shop, what things you like, what games you like. Some of it is just innocent some of it is just that they want to do a bit of marketing but some of it unfortunately is not so it's important that even if you remember some of these points and practice them it will still be a good thing anyway guys hope you enjoyed our hot topic for today